Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into some more of my queen, my goddess, my end all, be all, the one, the only, Miss Kelly Clarkson, and some more of her Kelly Oki segments. Um, normally, for these Kelly Oki videos, I limit it to about four, sometimes three, depending on how long the videos are. Um, clips per reaction, just because time's sake, I like to try to keep my reactions under like 30 minutes or so for these things. But it's time we are doing five because, well, it's a Christmas themed karaoke reaction. And in the karaoke playlist, I saw five songs from within the last week or so. So that's it. Y'all just gonna have to deal with it. I don't know what to tell you. So first we're gonna dive into her singing her own song, Blessed. And yeah, I'm excited to see what she does with it. So we're just gonna dive on in and find out. It's quiet all around the only sound here in the silence of the snowflakes falling down. Beautiful. Again, I love the hair. on the ground. Another year's come around. Got me thinking back about the times when I had nothing but big dreams filling my head. Beautiful head voice. If you desire in my chest, but I'm blessed. Looking in the eyes of my children, surrounded by the love I've been given. Mm, I love that run. Take a moment for granted. Sometimes it's so easy to forget when I'm down and I'm lost and I'm tired. When it feels the whole world. Love that run. Take a moment for granted. Sometimes it's so easy to forget to be grateful for the life I believe. I'm learning to have faith in the Come on. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I just want to take it back to this one part that I. Uh. Uh. Mm. The way she just like. One more time. Mm. Just the way that she like savagely full voiced that in. Um, cause on the record, I'm pretty sure she flips up into like a falsetto head voice, uh, learning to have faith in forgiveness. Like she flips it up, but here she's just like, no, nope, I'm just going to full voice mm, from my gut, from my diaphragm, belt it out. I'm like, girl, you better sing, sing the damn, sing your damn song. Ah, oh, vocals on this were so freaking good. So freaking good. I, I would love to hear the full version, which I think she, I think someone said that she did it on the late show or the late night show jimmy kimmel or one, one of those shows um relatively recently so i'm gonna check that out too because i would love to hear just the full length version where she has where she doesn't feel like she needs to truncate and she has the time to let the last set of choruses just like swell and grow and all that kind of stuff but this was beautiful she looked beautiful the dress was gorgeous voice was mm, beautiful her head voice during the verses the soft powdery soft head voice mm, delicious and I kind of like it better live than I did on the recording. Like the vocals are good on the recording too, but there's something about the live element of the piano that just, I don't know, makes it feel more authentic, I guess, T to me anyway, more genuine. Cause there's something about the recorded version 
And it's kind of hard when you're writing these like inspirational songs to write an inspirational song without it sounding like sort of cheesy and on the money. Um, so that's one thing that I kind of felt when I think, I might have said it when I was reacting to the album, I don't remember. Um, but that's one thing I felt when I was reacting to this um, on the album. Like the song is good, it's beautiful, lyrically it's beautiful, it's a beautiful message, um, but it does feel kind of on the nose a little bit like oh yeah i'm blessed with this i'm blessed for that i'm blah 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 feels just a little on the nose of being okay inspirational song inspirational song i'm checking off all these inspirational boxes um so it kind of falls a little bit into the cheesy territory a little bit for me anyway not for everyone everyone's entitled to their own opinion but like something about just the live piano element the background vocalist seeing it brought to life breathes a different kind of in feeling into it and if you i don't feel that sort of um cheesy vibe that i felt um listening to it but yeah she looks gorgeous she sounds gorgeous background vocals are amazing as always we know this this is nothing new yes yes so love 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 lovely all right so next we're diving into her performing i guess thomas rett's version of the christmas song so we're just gonna dive in and see what she does i haven't heard thomas's version but i mean the christmas song is a christmas song um <laughs> I love that this season she's just embracing this side part wavy curl. That beautiful, easy, sultry at the end. Ugh, girl, worked my last nerve. All right, so the Christmas song, it's one of those songs that it's, it's a classic, and it's been done a billion times over at this point. Everybody and their mother has sung the song, covered the song at some point. Like, it's got, there's so many different cover versions of the song that you can go lots of different ways. You can either keep it pretty similar to like the standard form format that we're used to hearing standard melody line or you can go completely left field change the instrumentation change the music change the rhythm change whatever you can go all kinds of different ways with the christmas song um so kelly kept she changed up the instrumentation a little bit although she's doing the thomas rep version so i'm assuming this is similar to what thomas did on some christmas album that he may have potentially um so instrumentation's a little bit more country, um, and I liked some of the instrumentation, no, I mean, I liked all the instrumentation choices that they made. Um, I love some of the rhythmic choices they made as far as instrumentation and the percussion. Um, but what I loved about her vocal line is, like it, she changed it enough that it didn't feel predictable, but she didn't change it so much that you lost the essence of the song. Like it still paid very good respect to just the original melody line that we're all familiar with, so we can follow along with it. But it it wasn't a complete copycat performance where it's like, okay, I know where this is going. It, it's, it sounds good, but I'm bored kind of thing. It, it, it wasn't one of those things. Um, she, she added some riffs here, some runs here. She belted in certain places where I thought she was gonna be softer. She was softer in places where I thought she might belt. Like she just she just switched it up enough to make it fresh for her 
and I like it. I mean, it sounds good in her voice. It reminds me of, and I've said it before with other performances, but those sort of old classic kind of country music performances that you would see, you know, Patsy Cline at the Grand Old Opry or, you know, something along those lines where it's just, just a good band and a good singer and just standing there and just singing, singing your heart out. Like that's, that's the vibe it gives me. So I love it. Love, 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 love. And like I mentioned, I love during this whole holiday season that she's embracing this side part, wavy curl, Veronica Lake type hairstyle. Live, 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 live. All right, so next we're diving into her singing Last Christmas, which I'm assuming is her the rendition she did on her um, Christmas album. So let's dive on in. Oh, come on, dress. Stage, gorgeous, Jesus. background vocalist again gorgeous Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Oh, I love that we got the full... Oh, she looks gorgeous in this dress, too. Thank you! Like, I love, 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 love just the production quality of that performance like literally if it wasn't for the kelly clarkson show logo in the bottom corner there you could have you could have told me that that was at any award show that that was at any winter themed concert that that could have been at the christmas tree lighting or at the new year's eve ball drop although i don't know why you're singing christmas songs at the ball dropping but so like you could have told me that was at any major like award ceremony or a major performing event and i would have believed it just because it looked immaculate the stage looked so 
gorgeous, the lighting, the decorations, the tiered stage, the, the stages in the background with the different instrumentalists and the background singers, the lighting, gorgeous, 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 I live. And then the styling, ah, oh, Kelly in this coat dress with this silver bustier and her, her, her clavage was looking good. It was looking good. I'm like, okay, Kelly, I see you, I see you, girl. Um, Yes, I love a good coat dress. Um, so she looked fantastic. She sounded just like the damn record, just like the record. So good, so freaking good. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't remember if this was one of the songs that she sang at um, the iHeartRadio Christmas special that I reacted to because I reacted to all three of them but two of them, for whatever reason, were blocked. Um, so then I submitted disputes and they still haven't been addressed yet. So it's looking like, what I don't remember what the two songs were, but it's looking like whatever the two songs were, the disputes only, I think, have like eight days left on them. So as long as nobody responds to the disputes in the next few days, then they'll just automatically get cleared and be released. So. Theoretically, those performances sh or those reactions should be up within like the next week or so, obviously after Christmas, but you know, what can you do? Um, but yeah, I don't remember if this was one of the songs I reacted to or not that's blocked, but like I just, the more I listen to it and the more I hear her perform it live, the more I enjoy it. Um, yeah, it's just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. All right, up next we're diving into her doing, I believe, Merry Christmas Baby, which Yes, which I love. Another gorgeous dress, Lord. And then the gorgeous earrings. Come on, ladies. Ah, ah. resonates with me. she's singing to somebody. The month of December's budget went entirely to Kelly's wardrobe and the staging for the Kellyoki segments. I don't know who the guests have been or what's going on, but all the budget went to these dresses and these these just setups for the performances because they are immaculate, gorgeous. She looked gorgeous in this gown. The setup was beautiful. Background dancers, like it's just. Or not background dancers, background singers. They were just giving me up my, my my faithful step touch that I live for. Um, but yeah, vocals, gorgeous. Like, what can you say? Um, it's, if I recall, I'm pretty sure it's my second favorite song on the record. Like, it's just, it's Sassy Kelly, which I love Sassy Kelly, but it's also got this sort of sultry vibe to it too. Um, and it's just, 
it's just a beautiful combination. I love it. And the vocals are just so good. So good. Like, I, I remember a couple weeks ago at work, I was just singing this chorus on repeat. I wasn't listening to it, no headphones or nothing. I was just singing it all at work, all at work. And people didn't know what the hell I was talking about, what the hell I was singing. I'm like, don't, don't y'all worry about it. I'm having myself a good little time. I'm walking up down the stairwells, going to the dressing rooms, checking on stuff in the lighting booth. Like I'm just like singing my ass off. I just, I love this song. I love it. I love, love, love. She sounded amazing. She looked amazing. She, pref mm. she was clearly singing to somebody. We ain't gonna name names, but she was she was singing to somebody in this performance. Mm -hmm. I could see it in her eyes. All right, so the last one we're looking at is Christmas. Christmas come early. Okay. Just a little piece for my family. Joy that fills the streets like a remedy for everyone around the world who needs a little cheer. Christmas, won't you please come early this year? Christmas, won't you please come early? Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Again, it sounded just like the record, if not better. Like, I don't know how I feel felt about this dress particularly. Like, at first glance, it was giving me kind of like a little house on the prairie. It was giving me very country western kind of vibes-ish too which didn't really fit the theme of the song, but as the performance went on, I didn't mind it as much, so maybe it just needed to grow on me a little bit, but I didn't love it as much as I did the other amazing dresses that she wore in these performances. But vocally, beautiful, beautiful. Like, what can you say? Head voice, heavenly. Did she belt in this? I don't really think this is this was a big belty song. It's I don't think it's one of her beltier songs. It's very much l focused on the lyrics and then a lot of head voice. So head voice is gorgeous. Um, just the tone of her voice, vibrato, everything, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um, I love the live string instruments, and yeah, all in all, just another fantastic performance. Um, they were all fantastic. Like all the ones that she was covering of her own music. Um, sounded just like the record, if not better. And then I think the one song that she covered from someone else, so um, the Christmas song, equally as like it could have been a cover. It could have been her version on an album. Is she recorded Christmas? No, she's not recorded the Christmas song on either album yet. Yet, it's always time for a third Christmas album. Um, but yeah, so like with all of our karaoke's, we gotta rank them. Um, this one's a little tough because they were all fantastic. Um, let's see, if I had to rank them, I guess in last place, I'll put 
Christmas Come Early, followed by uh, the Christmas song, followed by uh, it's tough. Merry Christmas, baby, last Christmas, and blessed. Although I could go back and forth between last Christmas, last Christmas and blessed, because um, they were both just fantastic. But all of them were fantastic performances. This is just me trying to put some sort of ranking system to it. But you know, your rankings are probably different, so let me know what they are down in the comment section. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments, and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.